Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And in the great FOMO panic of 2023, I purchased three Stingers. Well, two Stingers and a Stinger GT. And I had a little bit of Mandela effect going on because I thought it was the Stinger that was faster than the Stinger GT, but the Stinger GT is having, you know, reviewed the documents and videos, is the slightly faster car, which would make sense. It's the Felon that uh, I was mixing up. The Felon GT, I think, is slightly slower around Ruffy's track than the Felon. I'll have to double-check it because I did not double-check that, but I think that's where the, uh, the mistaken memory came in. But there was one other mistake I made with these, and that is thinking that because the... the uh, the car with the top and the car without the top were two different cars on the website that they were different, but they're really not. Look. Roof. No roof. Roof. No roof. They're the same car. It's the same car in two different places on the website, and they've both been removed, or the one car has been removed. So we only need one of these, so this car is getting removed. Did I really pay a million bucks for that? Like, well, I can't even look now. I can look back at the old video, but... We got 510 and a parking space, which is the critical thing because parking is such a thing at this point, having bought all these silly cars. Let's uh, let's do the, the Stinger first, the basic Stinger. And yes, this is going to be a tale of three Stingers here. That was the tale of the first one. Now we're going to modify vehicle. Do the basics. There's mostly the basics. And of course, the the, uh, the neon layout does affect performance. It's slightly, ever so slightly, lower the center of gravity for better handling. Again, we can have the roof. We're going to leave it with no roof. Respray. Primary color. There's no secondaries. What do we do? We leave it pink. I mean, that's that's a viable option, isn't it? But there are better options, probably. A gold stinger is not a bad plan. You know, race yellow would be a good look. Especially if you're going for a classic kind of thing. The, uh... Where's regular yellow? There's regular yellow. We need regular yellow but a different pearlescent, I think. Or race yellow with a different pearlescent. Like, what's the pearlescent on the... On this? Just yellow. Now, let's... Oh, I want to... I suppose we want some kind of pearlescent, but maybe, maybe we don't. A black pearlescent just to kind of dull it a little bit. Or we can just do this. Going classic. A classic race yellow, yeah, so you don't have, it's just shiny. It's a sports classic. Okay, you know, we could go gasoline green, we could go purple, we could go, but somehow just an Italian sports car kind of thing. Roof, we're not doing. Suspension, competition. Really not that much difference. That does look better for the car, I think. A little more low slung. Reefs transmission. Turbo tuning. Wheels. I'm going to leave them stock. Now, this is one of the cars where you're better off putting off roads on. It's one of the older ones. But that has a pretty thick sidewall anyway. So it should be as good, I think. A 
yes, we're going to take them both up Chile Eye today. It's going to be a bigger video. This isn't a stunningly fast car. It's a mostly looks good car. Back in the day, you know, you could have gotten away with some racing with it. If you if you have organized racing and you all go out in stingers, then it's doable. And the Stinger GT is only a little bit faster. Almost a perfect part job. Let us uh, do the thing. My jobs. The Chili Ad Hot Lap. Now for the, the Stinger GT, I might actually put the off-roaders on it. We'll have to just see. Especially if this doesn't go well. Time of day, new. Somebody's texting me at this moment, point in the morning? It's early for that. Well, someone just wished me happy anniversary, and I have no idea who it is. Because it's just the number that comes up. Thank you, you wonderful person. I'll probably text my wife, and then I'll find out who it was. It's probably, I don't know. It's a familiar number? I'm just trying to think. What, whose number is it? It's not saved, so that's... Traffic default and clear, ba 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 ba. Sports classics. Oh, the Ardent. You can race it now. Isn't it lovely? The Casco. I don't have a GT500, and that really annoys me. I completely forgot about it, that it existed, so that's why we didn't get it in the grand panic. Because it looks so much like the Casco, you know, you just. There we have that custom stinger. Purchase the ammo for the heck of it. Ready to play. The stinger is a car you get for this reason. It looks so good. It is an absolutely great. By the way, notice no spoiler. It is a great garage decoration. All right, we're getting better at that, I guess. Or this is just whoa, 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 whoa. That was full counter steer the whole way. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say it was very smooth through there, but then it got not smooth. We're beating the train by a little bit. It doesn't feel slow. I mean, it feels pretty good. I think it taps out like 112 or something like that. So it's not not super high speed, but but it's fast enough to keep ahead of the train. This is where Burfin say, "Look how well it rides the rails," and then I kind of steal his line. Boink! Whoa! Yeah, I'm not gonna bother to get this on file. I have it somewhere, but somewhere in the resources directory. But we'll just you get the gist. This doesn't feel good. This feels like we're really trundling through mud. Maybe it's the bushes and the high grass. Okay, can we get... Oh, dear. This is, this is not the car for this. It has neither the traction... nor the power to even get up the first time. Okay, we're going to have to go for the, uh, the back road.
That wasn't even close. Wow. Ooh, we're gonna explode, aren't we? I did put armor. Hey, now that was kind of neat. But if you're if you're ever in a uh, if you ever find yourself in a G Fred, do not try to take this up the hot lap road or any road. I don't even know if this is gonna go up the uh, the trails. There we are. Here we are. Here we are. That really bogged down and spun out pretty quickly there, and there's a couple inclines that I'm inclined to think may be problematic for this puppy. I wonder if I should have done this red like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Is this similar to the Ferris Bueller one? It might not be. That, that might have been a different, you know, GTO kind of thing. I like the yellow on this car. It's just working for me. Something just said to me, make it yellow. And I did. And I like it. Not going to do that well. This is, this is the kind of stuff where I worry. That was tricky. This was trickier. Bad, 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 bad. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Can we recover? We can recover. Yeah, it doesn't have a tremendous amount of grip. You have to get past this kink just right. There you go. And then hope we had brought enough momentum to get up the rest of it. Because without momentum, I think we're dead. Now this poses an interesting question when we switch to the other car. Because the other car... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Focus. The Stinger GT is a different animal altogether. It's rear engine and has slightly more power. Or at least it hustles around the track faster. So it either has more grip or more power, one of the two. Now will that mean it can do the hot lap road? Or will it be the same story for the most part? Because they are very, very similar cars. In performance. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. There's keeping momentum and there's flying off the mountain. And a very fine line between them. Come on, baby, don't bog down now. You're all beat up, but you're gonna get there. Eventually, you'll make a very fine lawn ornament for a garage decoration because that's pretty much. Oh, so close and yet so far. Tires clipping a little bit with the uh, competition suspension. We got it. We really cheesed that a little bit. Barely made it, but we're, we'll, we'll take we'll take what we can get. Always take what you can get. You know, it's just a unless it's like robbery or something in game. I mean, it's fine, but like you know, there are certain times when it's wrong to take what you can get. You know, when you're in a jewelry store, when when your date's passed out, there. It's wrong to take what you can get. You, know, you can't do that. But in G Freds, or in G Fred simulators, or we missed a turn. Ow. Ow. 
or getting down the mountain any way you can. Then you take what you can get. And we're we're okay here. Whoa! Do a barrel roll. No, don't do a half barrel roll. Here, ow. Are we gonna explode? I don't wanna explode. That's a hell of a windshield, by the way. The windshield frame. That's just holding up great. It has not smooshed me. Can we take on the train? No, we're not. No, we're not. Yes, we did. Oh, we, we, we did clip it. That wasn't my plan. I just, when you, I turned, it kind of pushed a little bit, and it was, I played chicken with the train and lost but one. Okay, so we're just going to roll now. Can we stance it a little bit at this point? I mean, we, are we stanced? Is it, can you stance a stinger? We're doing like 90. I think it's the analogs are pretty accurate and the digitals are crap or the other way around. I don't remember. The speedometers aren't terribly trustworthy. Why is that Rockstar? You know, we're how many years into this game and the speedometers don't work? Like a decade or something? Really trying to steer to the right, but... <laughs> Looking a little rough. We're gonna get there, I think. I think I think we're gonna get there. Without exploding. It's, nothing's definite. Yeah. Nothing's definite at all. We've got, I don't think he'll make the jump, but we're going to try because these bushes... Yeah, the bushes are too much. We got some RP out of it, but you know, now the bushes... The bushes are a thing. It's, it's very funny because sometimes this thing is really smooth and sometimes it's really bouncy and janky. It's really hard to, and spinny. Very flippy spinny. But we're going to... Uh, See, like, right through there, that was great. Do a barrel roll, boom, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's, it's a little worse for wear. It's a little, little bit, a little bit worse for wear. And across the line. Of course I finished first. I'm alone. Not, not the best G-Freighter, but it is pretty. You gotta say it's pretty. We'll give it the like. And I'd say replay, do the other one. We haven't upgraded the other one yet, so. We're gonna bounce out here. What is what does the motor look like on this thing? We should look at that, I guess. Uh, vehicles. Does it have a good engine kind of? Oh yeah, that's nice. You know, Weber downdraft carbs and all that kind of stuff. Don't beep at me. I'm right here. This is probably what it would actually look like mostly is you're on the side of the road with everything open. But, all right, let's uh, 
find a new session. Don't worry, I'm gonna teleport out of your way. My boy Zaddy's he's gone! Eventually, I mean, we're going to an invite only, so it shouldn't take long. Boom, boom, boom. And so now, let us look at, let us consider. Which is, which is the way out? There we are. I haven't done any Arena War stuff in a while. I've got the money now, actually, probably to go through and get all of them. All the vehicles. But why would I wipe out my hundred million dollars using stuff that, you know, buying stuff that I will never use? Okay. Here we go, we'll go British style, get in on it. The Stinger GT. How do we want to do this one up? Because it is beautiful that way with the stock wheels. It might be too beautiful that way with the stock wheels, we'll have to consider. Because this is going to be another garage ornament. Come on. Yeah, pro put do some programming on this thing. Lights, headlights, wet lights on there. The end layout is almost certainly going to stay white again. If it loads, respray. Now we could do the same kind of thing here. Just go red. It's already red. It's a good looking red. Do you want to go with a gold, though? I think either a complicated red from the... from Metallic. Well, black is another option. That does look good. I hardly ever have any black cars. But, you know, when you're making videos, you need stuff that's brighter. That's, you know, a little inside tip there. Torino red. Torino red seems like it's the kind of color it should be, doesn't it? I mean, blaze red is also good. Grace red. I mean, you know I like grace red. Garnet red, sunset red. You can have it be whatever you want. I'm painting the car, but formula red. I think either formula or Torino really kind of fits the prototypical what the car is going to be painted nine times out of nine nine times out of a hundred. We do something weird on it. I mean, the a gold. If we do the gold with the orange pearlescent to warm it up, I'm gonna go through these, and some of you are gonna be like, "This is the perfect color for it. Why didn't you make it that color?" And it's just, you know, ultra blue. Purple singer. It's so Italian, though. Like, you really have to make it, like, white. What about white? White, yellow, or red. Or black. How do I click that? Okay, let's just click that. That's white. That is a five. Do we want to go with the white or do we want to go with the... I mean, the red looks... In my mind, it's a red car. It really is. is. Oh, you can see that's how I got it. I bought it off the website. Brighter 
bright red. Just it just fits. I'm sorry I'm not being inventive. With a formula red pearlescent. Suspension, weeds. Transmission. Turbo. And yeah, I gotta keep the wheels as they are. They're the, the wheels as they are. They're just the tires bulletproof them. Windows like smoke. Did I, the other one didn't have window options, right? Because it was a. Did it? Or did I light smoke it or not? I don't know. The windows were down. <laughs> you can always light smoke them if we put the top on, I guess. That's the, the thing there. And here we are. Exit the arena. Does it feel much different? I don't know. Not really. It's going to be a little bit different. Let's, let's see what she does. You got you to gotta see what she does. My job, my jobs, races, the, the hot lap, blah. Again, this car has all got a little bit better performance, and it's got slightly different weight distribution, so we'll dig in better. Noon and Claire is also good. It's easier to see on the screen and more entertaining. That's the whole thing. Custom Singer? Custom Singer GT. I think I think that worked out well. That that's a, that's a good look for it, and a good look is important because it's gonna be a hanger queen for the most part. Not gonna be cruising in this very often, but you have to have it. It's just too pretty. Ooh, the engine looks in the back. Same engine note. Completely the wrong line. Where was I going? It does look pretty there. Dunked in the water, but you know, yeah. Okay, that's what we're, we're shooting for. This outcrop here. But it didn't jump very well. It's We're going to be fighting the train now. Okay, there you go. I went a little bit to the right of where I normally go, and that worked out. It does I do feel like it's trying to fishtail out on me a little bit here. I don't think much more than the other one. How much did we do? Yeah, we did beat the train a little bit. The train gave us a bit of a break there, right? Let's be honest. Feels, feels like the same car for the most part. Uh, there's not that much of a difference. But is there just enough difference that we can climb Shiliad? Up the hot lap. Don't know what the off-road traction loss is on these cars either. What if this one's slightly faster but has a worse off-road traction loss? Well then. I mean, then we're pretty well screwed. All right, that really pushed on me. But we're gonna make it work. No, we're not. Oh my goodness, right down in front of the train, isn't it? It's it's a slippy, slidey car. Without a lot, this is this is going worse. Train is coming, son. You gotta get up here. That one didn't. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Back it up. Now, this car does not want to go up this hill at all. Should we just give up right here? No. No. 
On paper, this should do better. It should. The engine's all the way back over the rear wheels. It should dig right in. And have lots of traction. But this is a video game, and that those are pixels, not actual, you know, hunks of steel. This does not feel much better than the other one. But, but, crucially, it is going further. A lot further. Far enough, but a lot further. Yee! Okay, come on, can we save this? Absolutely not. We're just in a free fall. Okay, so that. That was interesting. It, it is better, but not better enough. I guess that really should be what we expected. As we do the full yeet. And it does like to flop around. It's, it's a flippy, floppy, fishy car. Can we cut across right across this way to get to the, uh, the trail? There's a... There's a hint of a trail there we overshot. Yeah, come on, stop, 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 stop. Brakes. Just scarring up the wilderness. Okay, let's... If the other car made it to the top, then this should make it there, because it did do a little bit better than the other cars. But did not make it with the hot lap road. These are not driving up the side of the mountain cars for the most part. I know the off-road tires would not have helped. They don't increase traction on dirt. They just uh, cushion bumps better with this car. It just has the no clip option. Tires no clip option. So if you hit a curb, it would be smoother. Or a bounce or a rock or something like that. But that's not been our problem. Just driving straight up inclines is not going to help you. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. No, no, it's not. That's not a thing. No, no. That's not a thing. No, it's not. It does seem to be taking this a lot easier going up. It, I, I think there's definitely a sense of some better performance from the GT on this run up the hill. Completely blew that line, but will we get stuck from it? No, no okay. A little rev limiter action here. It's you know, up to up to that point back there. That's that's where you can't pick up the normal hot lap. Though. You see how much you save going up the hill if you can make it, but if you can't make it, well then, you don't save anything and you just, yeah, you make noises like that, yeah, okay, come on, it did, it did better on the yeast for the, for the, the checkpoint, until it fell down the mountain. Do this to me.
Okay. We're gonna do something a little dangerous here. We're totally going down this the wrong way. Hold on. Let's see if we can lateral this and make a recovery. Oh dear. We were so close. If we don't explode, I'll be shocked. Yeah, it's got armor, but we just fell just straight off a mountain. Where are we going to end up here? Not where we normally go. But we'll, we'll fly the G-Fred Spirit here. How have we not blown up? Some good armor. Maybe the engine's really protected, so that helps us. I was dead there for a minute, which just goes to down. Kaboom! Okay, no, it didn't, it didn't blow up. Alright. Alright, well, we're down from altitude here. Can we go through here and then come out somewhere where we can get to a thing? Maybe not. Alright, there's a little... Oh, we spun too much. There's a little path here into a rock. No, please, no. In all honesty, I'm going to have to say, uh, what's the fastest way here, folks? Because that's like... No idea at this point. This is not the... Not the line I would normally take. But hey, maybe this will make it more interesting, right? We'll just... Disasters make it interesting. There's not a straight body panel on this car. It does tend to spin. Oh, dear, we're losing the back bonnet. On a front hit it and knocked the darn trunk lid open practically. Honkity. It could very well be that the handling at this point is trash. Because again, this is an older car. And it, it's a. Uh, Are we gonna are we gonna end up at the top of the mountain just hitting a car on the road and just exploding? We're not smoking yet. Alright, so we should be relatively good. Yeah, this thing is all over the road though. Maybe it would be anyway. I mean I have I've tried racing stingers on, on Ruffy's stream, and I did not do well. This this might be a car. We're going to put it in the water. Almost. This is a car that you may need a, an analog kind of joystick kind of thing for. It, it doesn't like PC keyboard input. Which is what I have. It's what I'm used to, and it's it's a matter of boy, you know. They tell you you go to a controller, you get this and you get that. It's so much better. And I, but when I watch Ruffy's, you know, controller cam, 
he's not, you know, using the steering in an analog fashion. He's tapping it left and right. It's like you would a key. So, I mean, I don't know. That it'd be that much different. There's almost certainly a faster way to do it. I'd probably be leaping over the mountains like on a, you know, we're, we're almost into reverse, you know, g fret kind of stuff here. So you should be able to off-road it all the way up. But we've kind of proven that this isn't any good at off-road. Not its strong suit. got stuck there. Oh, man. Well, its main thing is it's pretty. And we've kind of ruined that. Under the heading of there's more than one way to skin a G Fred. See, you don't have to go the traditional line. You can. You can do this kind of thing. Kind of a derp G, tap fast derp G. The derp G, that's what that was. was doing the derp G. And this is what your car looks like after the derp G. Fifteen minutes, wow. Okay. At least it's back to being pretty again. I do want to see how that trunk opens, though, and then we'll we'll call it quits here for the for the video because that was a lot. There's a lot there. There's a lot of stingerness there. It's it's a lovely stinger video. It's back to lovely. We'll burn it out over here. And vehicles, doors, pop it. That is cool. That, see that right there, that's worth the price of admission. Look at that engine. With the exhaust, oh, it's all just great there. With the whole thing open, the dual radiators. Why am I picking that again? I don't want to go. The interior, wood green interior. No front trunk. I guess this look, looks like that's set up for, you know, well, it's, it's not even a vent. It's just kind of carved in there, so I mean, I don't know. I should, I should have some place for the golf clubs, don't you think? Well, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a tale of three stingers that we just sold off. And this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.